Hi, I'm Jason Horsch, owner of Xanadu Gallery in Scottsdale and Pinetop, Arizona, and this is Ask a Gallery Owner. Today's questions, and there are two of them, are follow-up questions from my conversation last week about the right time to approach galleries. And the first one comes from Pat. She asks, do you tell galleries you're meeting with that you are also approaching other galleries? Do galleries expect you to be represented in multiple venues? Uh, is there a particular protocol? And then there's another question from Jim. And Jim asks, as a gallerist, once you meet with and review the portfolio of an artist, how quickly do you make a decision on whether or not to include him or her in your gallery? So all questions around the logistics of approaching galleries. And um, as I mentioned last week, this is an important time in an artist's career as they're doing outreach to galleries. We want to make sure you have as full an understanding of the effective way to make approaches to galleries as you can. So let me respond to Pat first. Do galleries need to be told that you're approaching other galleries? Not really, because it's just assumed. If you are an artist and you're out talking to galleries, presenting your portfolio, either in person or by email, there is an assumption that you are in the process of searching for gallery representation and that you would be approaching multiple galleries. And so there's no need to explicitly mention that. As far as expecting you to be represented in multiple venues, most galleries are going to ask for exclusivity of representation in a geographic area. So for example, for my galleries, if I'm going to represent you in my Scottsdale gallery, I would want to be your only representative in that geographic region, the greater Scottsdale, Phoenix area. And this is fairly standard among galleries that they're going to ask for some area. And it can vary a little bit. Some galleries might ask for a metropolitan area. Some might ask for a 50-mile radius. There will be variations in terms of the language that's used to request that exclusivity. But the idea is the same, that they don't want to be competing with other venues in showing your work. And so that's something we need to consider as we're going to show with the gallery. Is there overlap in that area against other venues that I would also like to be showing in, either other galleries or art festivals or shows? Am I confident that I'm comfortable with giving them this exclusivity. And all those issues can be worked through and even sometimes negotiated a little bit. If a gallery is asking for exclusivity in the state of Arizona, but you'd also like to show in Sedona or Tucson, you might be able to negotiate that. Now to Jim's question, how long does it take once an artist has presented a portfolio to a gallery owner to make a decision? That also can vary. And I can tell you in my experience that there have been times when an artist has approached our gallery, presented a portfolio, and the stars aligned and the timing was just right that the offer for representation and the process of getting artwork into the gallery occurred very quickly, sometimes within a matter of days, if not even hours, if the artist happened to have some work on hand with them. And that worked out because we were looking or in a position where we could offer the space to the artist. It was the case that the artwork was unique and different from other things that we were representing. And we hit it off with the artist and all the other factors that go into play in making a decision about representing an artist. And it worked out quickly. That's exciting for everyone. It's exciting for the gallery to have new work to show. It's exciting for the artist to have seen a quick response. That's probably the exception. More often, you're going to start a conversation with a gallery owner, and the stars may not align instantaneously. There may need to be some back and forth, and the gallery owner may say, we're interested in your work. We're in the midst of our se season and aren't taking on new artists right now, and maybe we'll think about next season. Or... Um, I'm in the process of rearranging my artist lineup, and it'll take a few months to do that, and then we can explore this further. And so it wouldn't be uncommon for it to take weeks or months, and there have been instances where I maybe started a conversation with an artist years before I was able to be in a position to offer representation. What we need to be able to do as an artist is to be a little bit flexible and ready to adapt to whatever the situation requires. We want to be persistent. I wouldn't want to have a conversation with the gallery owner and have them say, we're interested in your work, the timing's not right. 
and to then just let it die because we don't follow up with the gallery owner and pursue the potential for the relationship. So we just need to employ a certain level of professionalism and follow up to make sure that we prosecute every opportunity that comes our direction. Approaching galleries is, it's challenging, I know, and can be intimidating, but I would propose that if you can lay some groundwork in terms of being prepared with a strong body of consistent work, a digital portfolio of that work, and then a persistence and adaptability, and as I've mentioned in previous sessions, a willingness to approach numerous galleries um, to pursue the relationships that we can build a successful uh, network of galleries showing your work to be able to increase your sales and build a successful career as an artist. Thank you for those questions. If you're watching this and have additional questions about approaching galleries, about the art sales process, please share those questions in the comments below and uh, we'll look forward to discussing them in future sessions. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for our free newsletter at red.blog.com, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next session.